In this clip by ABC News, Morgan Freeman is going to discuss his movie, Now You See Me. However, when his co-star is talking, he ends up falling asleep. Good morning. Good, good morning, morning, Bill and Casey. Yeah. The thing about this movie is we do tricks, but I mean, these are the biggest magic tricks you've ever seen in any movie. They're gigantic. But not only is it was done without CGI. So it's a quite a wondrous thing to sit there. We were in Magician in one right. movie, but I mean, I, I was doing a guy like, I, I had to learn card tricks off a real magician, but this... In this video, Anne Hathaway is being interviewed for her the movie, One Day. However, they also bring up comments about her recent Catwoman movie, and she gets a little offended at one of the questions. I don't know. How, how much uh, weight have you lost to get into this shape right now? You did not just ask me that no, I'm question. Just saying, you're like, <gasps> what a forward whoa. young man you are! My goodness, I'm how sorry. much weight! I'm not saying you needed to lose weight. I'm just saying that you look. I've t I've worked very hard to become Selena Kyle. In this clip, Jennifer Lawrence accidentally kisses her Hunger Games co-star Natalie Dormer, and when this happens, they actually like it. And the subject matter is obviously oh emotional. Um, it was a real whirlwind. I enjoyed it so much. Hi. Oh, oh my god! I'm sorry! <laughs> sorry! We just kissed on camera. <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> well, there you go! That was great! Hi. Oh Hi. my god! I'm sorry! <laughs> In this next clip from Good Day, Carla Delvine is being interviewed about paper towns. And no matter what happens, it seems to just get more and more awkward with every question. And Carla gets more and more confused. Now with that said, I saw you in London talking a couple weeks ago on TV, and you seemed a lot more excited about it than you do right now. Are you just exhausted? Oh, uh, no. I mean, I'm still very excited. I'm, you know, the premiere was last night. It was an emotional... It was an emotional night, it felt like the end of an era, but I'm not any less excited than I was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you, you... Maybe I had a bit more energy. It's the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you do seem a bit a bit irritated. Perhaps it's just us. No, no, I think it's just you. I think it probably is us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then on that note... We figured as much. We figured as much. We'll let you go then. How about that? Right. We'll let you go take a little nap, maybe get a Red Bull. How about that? <laughs> Cara Delevingne, thank okay, you no. so much Too for fun. your time. Paper Times coming out to you. In this interview done by BBC, an interviewer is talking to Lady Gaga about politics, and we all know how awkward things can get when politics are brought up. And this particular video happened during the Donald Trump-Hillary Clinton campaigns. I mean, what is it you think that she is going to do for the USA that he will not? I think she will do a good job. Some people want to win races. Other people want to be president of the United States. While actress Christian Stewart was on the Stephen Colbert show, a pretty awkward and uncomfortable moment happened when Stephen took it upon himself to move her necklace away from the microphone instead of asking her to do it herself. Can I just do one thing here? I just want to take this mic and put this and maybe adjust your mic slightly. We're going to cut this part out because it's a little too intimate. Wow. But your chain, <laughs> your chain, if you don't mind, your chain was hitting your mic and we couldn't hear you. Cool. Okay? Oh. Can we do the show now? Like, what, what, what? Go with, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. In this next clip, Jimmy Fallon is airing from his house due to quarantine, and he decides to call Lady Gaga. However, the big announcement she had is pushed back to Friday on live TV. Yeah! Hi! Lady Gaga! Hi! Hi, everyone. <laughs> this, this is a big, we have a big, maybe, announcement that you're going to say tonight on our show. No, I can't, Jimmy. I, uh, I can't talk right now. It's, um, I, I, I'm really sorry. It's just, like, a really weird time. I'm, can you call me on, um, can you call me Friday? Can I call you on Friday? Yeah. <laughs> During this hilarious clip from The View while discussing a seemingly important and touchy subject, Whoopi Goldberg pauses to loudly pass gas. No, you, uh, oh, I was gonna say. Oh. Yeah. You're so polite. Oh, excuse me. I'm so different. I just blew a little frog out of there. In this video, Madonna is being questioned by ABC about love, marriage, and Lady Gaga. 
And during this interview, they talk about the song Born This Way and how it's eerily similar to one of her songs. Her reply makes everything awkward. Of all of these, there's one question that almost blew up the internet. Oh. Do you have any idea what it is? I don't know. They want to know what you think about Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga has admitted being influenced by Madonna, but when born this way, sounded more than a little similar to express yourself. Some wondered if influence was plain out copying. It feels uh, reductive. Is that good? Look it up. <laughs> reductive means simplified or crude, so. During this hilarious and now viral clip from the Jimmy Fallon show, Jimmy got very anxious and scared after RuPaul's reaction to referring to him as a drag queen. This is the first time a drag queen has ever been put on the uh, cover A of drag queen? A drag queen? I am the queen of drag! <laughs> This next video isn't actually a real interview. It is a promo for the Music Video Awards and the upcoming film, The Interview. However, I thought it should be included for the awkwardness and poor Nikki getting interviewed about her behind. The shape of your is quite incredible. So I'm just wondering how something like that happens. What do you mean, how does it happen? I don't understand. There are shapes there that I've never seen before. Do you have to go to the gym for this, or is that what you was born with? Um, yeah, I mean a little bit of both. A little During this clip from the Jimmy Fallon show, Jimmy is continuously interrupting Dakota Johnson as she tries to tell a story. Eventually, she gets sick of it and is forced to call him out about it. And, then, and so you go out to walk the dog? Well, no. It's cool they... I sort of... <laughs> Do they of... allow dogs at the hotel? Aren't you supposed to let people talk on the show? <laughs> If they know what they're talking about, yes! In this video from the Gordon Keith Show, Gordon and Christian are talking about her latest film, Veronica Mars, when the topic goes right to her chest. And so what, uh, what changed the most among the characters in the cast? Uh, my cup size, to be honest. I was utterly flat chested on the show and I was nursing uh, a new human life when we shot the movie. It's referenced in the film, uh, Dick Casablancas looks at me and says, um, your tits look bigger, uh, to which I respond, so do yours. So do yours, yeah. right. In this clip, Gordon Keith is back at his awkward interviews yet again with Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell about their movie, Hit and Run. Of course, Dax and Kristen have a little bit of awkward fun as well. Again. Match made in awkward heaven. <clears throat> and it's kind of interesting because you guys are like the, the third greatest Hollywood couple going right now. Behind? Well, Brangelina and uh, whoever Willem Dafoe's dragging around these days, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get it together. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. While discussing politics and whether or not Donald Trump is fit to be the president, Kanye West is completely stumped when Jimmy Kimmel asks him why exactly he believes Trump cares about black people. You so famously and so powerfully said George Bush doesn't care about black people. It makes me wonder what makes you think that Donald Trump does or any people at all. Why don't we take a break? We'll come back and uh, Kanye West. Uh, in this next video from American Isle, Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey are at it again. Mariah thinks the song was good, but could have been held back on some notes. Nicki completely disagrees and is completely ignored when she constantly tells Mariah to clean her ears out, further grabbing a Q-tip from her purse. So I must disagree with certain members of the panel that you that every moment's got to be at the top of your of your most happy you Disney princess be. moment. But maybe trying to be expressive, just sing from your heart the maybe entire time, you and your notes will continue to shine regardless of the dirt that gets splattered around you. <laughs> During this throwback 2007 interview with Andy Dick and Ivanka Trump on The Jimmy Kimmel Show, for some reason, mid-interview, Andy decides to lean forward and grope Ivanka's thigh. Soon after, he was dragged off the show by security. 
Hey, you don't play up the glitter on your legs. Oh, oh you so don't. Uh, Andy, don't please. Don't, don't touch Ivanka. Oh wait, did I say I was single okay. and then I had a boyfriend? Hey, Andy, please, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Donald Trump will kill both of us.